Hello, my name is Kurt Peterson and I'm a sales engineer with Highbyte. What I want to walk you through today in this video is how to securely connect between Highbyte Intelligence Hub and an OPC server. Now there's a couple of things to go over first when we talk about OPC security. There's a, several different layers that add additional levels of security as we move on that we can enable within Highbyte Intelligence Hub. So the first being the OPC security policy. Now this has to do with the level of encryption and also the certificates. For our example today, the important thing is that we have to acknowledge the client certificate, that's Highbyte certificate, within the OPC server. And if you want to get more secure, you can also apply usernames and passwords to this. You can do a combination of these or one or the other in any mixture you want, and we're going to step-by-step -step show you how to do that. So the first step in connecting to my Kept Server EX is going to be to create that connection within Highbyte. So I'm going to go to my Highbyte Intelligence Hub on the connections page and then create a connection. I'm going to call it Kept Server EX and describe it as my OPC server. The protocol, as you may have guessed, is going to be OPC UA over TCP. And then for these settings, because it's locally installed, I'm going to use localhost and then the default port for Kepware, which is 49320. Now we get into the security settings. So now I have the option from this dropdown to select any one of the options. So either no security, basic 256 sign, and basic 256 sign and encrypt. The other security setting that I have is this authentication type, which is set to either anonymous or username. Here we have our two levels, right? Our security policy and whether or not to use passwords. So just to start out, I'm gonna leave this as insecure as possible. I'm gonna select none and anonymous and then leave all the other settings as defaults. So now you might think that I would be able to browse to my kept server at this point, but nothing is pulling up. And that's actually by design. So if we go back to our kept server, we can see that there is this setting. So I, I not to do that too quickly, I right-clicked on Project, went to Properties, and then went to OPC UA. Now, Kept Server by default locks down anonymous logins so that you cannot get in as an anonymous client, which is good in general case, right? That's a good secure policy. For our purposes today, we're gonna to disable that. So I'm going to say, yes, you can allow anonymous login and then click OK on this. Now, with any change to my Kepware server, it's always good to remember to reinitialize. Otherwise, you might run into some problems. Okay, now that I've reinitialized, I've connected back up. Now I should just go back to my same settings within Highbyte. And if I hit Browse now, boom, all of my tags are imported and I can browse to all of these different ones. So that is the bare minimum. So if we were doing no security, the video would be done. But we kind of want to do that. So let's take a look at some steps about how to implement security from the Kepware side. So now I can't do that in my configuration window. So I have to go down to my system tray, right click on the Kepware icon and then select OPC UA configuration. This brings up my server settings. And if I double click on my endpoint, now I can set some of my basic security policies. Now it's also interesting to note, you can see that the Answers to the questions that I set up earlier, localhost only and the default port, are in this window as well. So let's go ahead and enable a security policy. So we're going to do basic 256, sign and encrypt. I'm going to hit, I'm going to disable the insecure connection, hit OK, close, and then reinitialize again. Now, all I'll need to do within the Kepware side is go in and change my settings. So instead of doing no security policy, we're gonna do sign encrypt, and we're still gonna be anonymous. I'm gonna hit save. Now that I've configured the security settings in Highbyte, I'm gonna show you that Kepware right now is not seeing any client hits. And this is because we haven't tried to browse yet. So in order to get Kepware to recognize Highbyte, I'm gonna to go to my Kepware connection with security enabled now. I'm gonna to go to my inputs and then browse for the server. Now I'm still not able to connect, and the reason being is because my certificate is not trusted by Kept Server anymore. So we can see this certificate has now appeared. That's because I browsed to it. So Kepware said, oh, I did get a request, but I don't know them and I don't want to deal with them. What I'm going to tell Kepware is that, no, that's a, that's a trusted client. We can trust that uh, endpoint, which is Highbyte Intelligence Hub, 
And if we go back to HighByte and just browse again, we have all our tags. The only other thing that I would want to mention is if we go back to our details pane and select username basic 256, this connection is going to be governed by the username and password that you put in. So whatever username and password that you have configured on the Kepware side, this is where you input it into HighByte in order to be able to securely connect. Okay, so let's recap. We've been able to configure a secure connection between Kepware OPC server and the HighByte Intelligence Hub. We've talked about security policy, certificates, as well as username and password, and we've shown you step-by-step -step how you can layer security on your connection. Three things I want to highlight just one more time before we get out of here today. Number one, remember that Kepware comes out of the box with anonymous logins disabled. So if you want to log in without a username and password, go ahead and enable this property and then reinitialize your Kepware server. Number two, this seems obvious, but be sure to match your settings between your server and your client side. So if you have sign and encrypt on your Kepware side, be sure that's reflected on the HighByte side as well. And then the last one is, be sure to trust your client certificate. So if you're still not able to get a connection, double check to make sure that you've accepted the client certificate on the Kepware server side. And that's really it. Thanks for your time today. Appreciate you watching the video. And uh, if you have any other questions, be sure to put them below. Thanks and have a good day.